communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Our position is concealed. Position confirmed. I mean, I've gotten into the late game before. I've never lost it go, due to go. losing a tactical mission, <laughs> so I, I, I don't know why you're. Yeah, whatever. Moving on target location. That's affirmative. I don't think it's actually particularly normal for your ranger to have that high a chance to hit. Heading to that location. Moving. Moving out. Moving to position. Will do. Um. Yeah, I don't know. That has not. It has not been my experience with late game that I've regularly had a hundred and thirty-five percent chance to hit things that I care about killing. Yeah, I'm elect. How's it going? of sight just isn't quite working here. I don't want to like start shooting and then get instantly surrounded by everything on the map. On the move. It's extremely light though. So even if you have 135 aim on your ranger, you know that, like, okay. you can receive debuffs to your chance to hit. Like, for example, the enemy could stand in cover, or have defense, Already there. or you might even be suppressed, or uh, flashbanged. Got it covered. Once you guys see the 1.3 changes, I'll talk a lot more about balance with you, but right now... Like, especially when you're giving feedback, which is like, math-based feedback, which assumes 135% chance to hit, like... I'm all over it. It's not really... A Conversation that I can productively join you guys in. Right, Links, I know that. 
So if somebody has 85 defense, then you don't... Like, I mean, you can say that you have 135 aim, but you actually have 50% chance to hit. That's the number that actually matters. So if you're talking about something giving you minus 15 on your chance to hit, you care that it... Like, I mean, you guys are smart. You see what I'm saying, right? Right, so when you rapid fire things, often they have defense or cover or Heading to that location. Or like your soldier doesn't have an elite scope and master sergeant aim because he's a gunnery sergeant. Probably like realistically, probably half of the rapid fires in a campaign or with a gunnery sergeant. Affirmative. Covering now. Maintaining position. In cover. I know that that's only like a little Scaling. bit of aim. Four or something. I don't actually know how much it is. Three aim. But you're starting by assuming the absolute best possible plausible circumstances. And it's making your conclusion sort of worthless. Headed there now. Got it. Moving. Good copy. Moving on target. On the move. Moving to Overwatch. You can just see him through the floor, huh? That's great. Moving to Overwatch. Is that because I can like lean out and then see him through this window? Cover it. I'm on the move. Can I might as well just see them? Moving out. No, Goodman Dong, if you've shot at something enough to bring it down to half, like, your ranger may not have shot at it at all. And. On my way. Like, you can just do a pretty simple expected value calculation on how much extra you're getting out of rapid fire there. Like the number isn't zero. Ten four. Rolling out. So Time for me to be very, very sneaky. Running. On Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. This 
So the reason that rapid fire benefits from executioner locked on is that when you have 70% chance to kill something and it's half dead right, you shoot it and then you miss and then you rapid fire and you have a much higher chance to kill it than you did if you didn't rapid fire. You can't just like say, well, you can't assume that you hit it with the first shot. I don't, I don't understand. understand all right I'm on it. They've got a position. A that was a pretty range. sick move right there Get five an turns until here. evac this is firebrand evac request confirmed hold tight it's a little bit questionable whether this is better than just playing this mission like it was a regular mission. Five turns is a long time. I could have waited another, what, eight hours or something to have a 100% infiltration and get that timer down by one. But I did not. Transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. ASAP. There is a lot I don't understand, but uh have a fairly good grasp of expected value calculations and also um a very, very, very large number of hours playing this game and a good understanding of what situations you actually end up in in late game. First, interesting. Well, this has been a very odd experience. Good to go. Rolling out. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Heading out. Rolling. I'm not even Fire like order. reading what you guys are saying Under enough move. to fully understand what you're Moving talking about, but I definitely saw you saying that we should Head be out. like considering 135 aim to justify the value of rapid fire. And also the claim that we had to obviously have a high chance to hit something for it to be less than half health. <laughs> and those are just like, I don't even have to be paying attention to your conversation because those are not reasonable premises in this game. Okay, let's go grazing fire here. Lots of low aim gunners.
The way that shooting something with rapid fire works is that you shoot with light em up and then you rapid fire something and then you can also command and rapid fire again. That's doesn't have a cooldown, right? I can't remember ever doing that, but it's because rangers have terrible damage, I think. There's no cooldown. Yeah. So what rapid fire does is you shoot something, then you rapid fire it, then if you need to, you command and rapid fire again. Rupture has a three turn cooldown and deals like some damage. Cool. But rapid fire already does what rupture does. And that's why you take rapid fire, combat fitness, gunnery sergeant to master sergeant on rangers. And locked on is like pretty solid, but not ridiculously strong. And executioner is like fine. <laughs> executioner is okay. Executioner is not amazing on rangers because you're generally trying to one-shot enemies or you're trying to kill enemies who are at low HP with things which get like infinite target abilities like you're trying to kill them with serial on a sharpshooter for example and if you can kill something with serial on a sharpshooter then what is the point of having executioner on a ranger I understand like what rupture does. Grenadier has blown the cover of a pot of elite mutons. Their armor shredded now standing in the open. There's still 30 hit points left to chew through. Um, what? Okay. Well, you build your soldiers for that situation, and I'll build my soldiers for, uh, like, the situations where you're fighting 10 guys and they have a variety of numbers of hit points and a variety of amounts of cover. We'll see what happens. For my EWCs here, I don't think rapid fire is good enough on assaults. You have to take it over. I don't remember what you have to take it over, but whatever it is, is way better. Close combat specialist, is it? You can never take it over, close combat specialist. Shit, man, this team is like... <laughs> My combat fitness over kill zone because Kill zone like only does something like one time and it's a time that's amazingly good for you already. Yeah, you take close encounters over rapid fire. Close encounters lets you blue move, shoot, run and gun, yellow move, shoot. It's just like bonkers strong. Failed four gops, but I still actually completed nine. I wonder what vigilance is like. I feel like I've gone on a lot of missions. Guarded? Guarded isn't that bad.
I have 140 intel. I have 140 intel. I'm so rich. And I'm actually infiltrating all of the missions right now. At least all the ones I'm going to do. Soldiers are cycling back from wound time. I have a one strength even recruiting up. It's going to be a far larger strength by the time that it's ready to go, though. Nine rebels here. 13, 11. It's all going pretty well. Other than the wounds and deaths, but hopefully... Hopefully we can come out the other side of that okay. I need to visit the black market and pick up my soldier for the month soon. Extract a corporal assault, please. Please so much. When's Oscar, Mike? Four days? Okay. That's uh, the first thing the Surfaticus is doing, getting me a corporal assault. Strategic resource located. Hit and run isn't good because it doesn't let you shoot twice. It only lets you shoot then move. Ooh. Up to strength five here all of a sudden. Ooh, we just ticked from two to three while I was sitting here. Okay, so that's going to make this probably scarier. Not too much scarier, hopefully. I could even boost it, like it's allowed. Finished picking those up. Let's fly over here. Alloys are in demand. That's pretty nice. Another corporal assault. Give me that. Wouldn't mind another scientist this month as well. Um, I'm just going to sell another 10 alloys right now. All this. We'll use that on something sometime soon, I'm sure. The advanced laser weapons. Check out this new corporal assault. Maybe start training AWCs. 77 aim, 10 dodge. So, slowish. Sprinter AWC. Sounds fine to me. So are you guys super chatty because it's the weekend? You usually at work when you're chatting with me. I wonder how much productivity my stream uh, removes from the workforce of the global population. So I'm going to boost this. It's still a tur two turn evac though. This gets it to very light with a two turn evac. Uh, this is like potentially suiciding a rookie. Throw the bag player with the rookie, get detected, but have the shinobi safe at the objective and hack and leave. Facebook has me beat. <laughs> hey. For now. For now. 